to float. Hello. Wait a minute. Who are you? Okay, welcome back guys and girls. So today we're doing another concept video. If you haven't already guessed who it is from the trailer, it is gonna be... Well, I'm Pennywise the Dancing Clown. So, Pennywise the Dancing Clown, famous from the IT novel, IT movies um, that come out. So, always mentioned when it comes to new chapters, it's na uh, Pennywise's name does come up quite often. Uh, so let's have a look, we'll investigate and see how his powers would look in the game, his perks and finally the maps that we would use. So hope you enjoyed the trailer and let's get into who Pennywise actually is. So if we look at the backstory we've put on, so it arrived on Earth in a massive cataclysmic event similar to an asteroid impact, landed in a location in North America that would eventually become Derry, Maine. So once people settled over this location, it adopted its usual pattern of a 27 to 30 year hibernation, waking to kill and eat. Each awakening and return to hibernation is sometimes marked by a violent and tragic act such as a mass murder, suicide or weather event. In the period between a series of child murders occurring in Derry are never taken too seriously or solved. It is outwardly explained that a series of murders, no matter how gruesome, don't get reported for happening in a small town. However, the real reason is that the influence of it prevents anyone from investigating too deeply. So if you've seen the movie, the Losers Club realise that in order to defeat it, they had to make it believe it was smaller, despite its insistence that it was the eater of worlds. The remaining losers insult the clan repeatedly until it is forced into a smaller infantile form. Now the rest will leave up to you guys. So what happens there? How does the entity bring Pennywise to Dead by Daylight, I'll leave that up to you guys. So I've put the difficulty as hard for him and you'll see why when we discuss the perks and powers. Uh, the Dead by Daylight chapter is going to be called the It chapter, not very creative but that's what we've chosen. So attribute, he's got 4.6 meters per second speed, 32 meter terror radius and his height is average. So let's have a look at his powers so his power is going to be called the all float so the all float you have the ability to place up to five balloons in the air that move and locate survivors balloons would emit your terror radius and once in their location of a survivor it would reveal their aura for three seconds you have the ability to teleport one balloon that transmits to you the survivor's aura. The balloons stay on the map for 60 seconds. So this sounds like a great idea and thank you for Tristan who sent this um, this concept in. So a bit like Freddy, you can teleport around the map. So you start off with the balloons, you set them off and they'll go and locate survivors off. If a survivor comes near them they'll let you know and you can teleport to that balloon. Alright, so the other special ability is the deadlights. So you have the ability to show survivors your deadlights. Any survivors looking at you whilst you have this power activated will begin to suffer reduced repair, heal and sabotage time. So they have to physically see you. The survivors would need to snap out of it outside your terror radius to retrieve their abilities at full capacity. So once they've seen you and you show the, your deadlights, uh, that's going to hinder their repair, heal and sabotage time. They can snap out of it though, we thought it might be a bit overpowered if they stayed in it all the time. So they have to leave your terror radius so they can't see you uh, to retrieve abilities at full capacity. If the survivor fails to snap out of it, they will begin to float from the floor, una unable to move for 30 seconds. So if the survivors decide to stay and doing what they're doing in your terror radius after they've seen the deadlight, um, they'll be unable to move for 30 seconds. Your movements are reduced by 30% 30 30 while this power is activated. Now, if the survivor's floating and unable to move, you can then go and pick that survivor up and hook them. So the idea of this is that, yes, it sounds very overpowered, but it's just to stop the survivors from gen rushing. So he's gonna stop survivors from doing that. So if you turn up, if you're playing as Pennywise as a killer, you turn up to an area and there's four survivors, they have to then make a decision, do they carry on doing what they're doing, hindered by the fact that they can see the deadlight, or do they leave the area, snap out of it and then come back again? So 
that was the idea for the powers so let's have a look at his perks so his first perk is called feed on fears now with this perk when two survivors are together you gain a 5% movement speed increase and can break pallets 25% quicker if three or four survivors team together and are within 12, 10 or 8 meters of each other then this perk will deactivate this perk has a cooldown of 120, 180 seconds now the idea behind this perk is bring it to life with in regards to the film so Pennywise feeds on fear um, the losers club beat them all together so it's about the team members working together in order to complete the trial and get out so if they aren't working very well as a team then they will be hindered by this perk which as I say will give you the movement speed and breaking the pallets quicker so quite like the idea of this perk but as always guys let me know what you think the second perk is called phobia so when a survivor enters your basement, their aura will be revealed to you for 14 seconds and your terror radius will be hidden from this survivor. The survivor will also see hallucinations and their fear will be amplified for 10 seconds after leaving the basement. So hallucination comes in the form of the same as a doctor. Um, so the idea is, again, phobia, fear, we're trying to scare these survivors and once they go in your basement, they'll activate that. And the best thing is that your, their aura is going to be revealed to you and the terror radius even when they leave the basement. So it is an interesting perk to have have on Pennywise. Alright, and the last perk would be called Splatter Colours. So, Splatter Colours. When a hex totem is cleansed by a survivor, your anger compels you to show your true colours. So you receive a hit cooldown decrease by 10, 15 or 20% every time a totem is broken. Now, if all totems are cleansed, that's something that survivors like to do, especially if they think they might come up against Noed. So what they'll do, they'll cleanse all totems. You're going to then receive a 30% recovery rate to hit, which is quite significant. So when you hit someone, a bit like save the best for last, but in the in the context of uh, Pennywise it's going to be called Splatter Colours and it's going to be based on your totems being broken. Alright so you will be actively encouraging the survivors to break them to open the totems hopefully. Right so that is powers and perks so um, unlike the spring track video that I've done and if you haven't seen it I'll link up to it up above now um, I'm going to include some maps on here so the obvious map to include on this game would be Derry so that's where the film's set that's where Pennywise is based and that's where all the killings happens so it's interesting because you've got the whole of Derry that you can do now you've got Pennywise's house which leads to the sewer which opens it up could it be two platforms two levels so you've got the street level and then you've got the sewer level that you can play against um, so that would be the obvious choice for maps but again guys all of this is just a concept so let me know what you think in the comments below all right so hope you enjoyed the video guys if you did give it a quick like um, share the video share the video with your friends let them know see what they think and if you haven't already pressed that subscribe button press that subscribe button and click for notifications so you can keep updated with all my videos all right right thanks guys 